Lily Pope, what exactly was she talking about? I don't really get it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is my own package. I don't know if you can see this very well. I just received it today. Ha! And when I watched that video she made yesterday, my heart was just panting so fast. I was like, I hope I'll be able to receive my package from these people. And lo and behold, it arrived. What exactly was was she actually trying to bring the company's name down or something? It, was she trying to dent their image, you know, to make their customers to stop using them to do export from Nigeria to Bodo Ibo or something? I honestly did not understand. I was totally flabbergasted, surprised, perplexed. I was bed wounded. Was it bed wounded? I was be wounded. I don't know. Whatever grammar, either bed wounded or bed wounded. I was totally amazed by what she said. All right, guys, to tell you the truth, I got it today. And it's a package all wrapped on sealed. I'm going to open it so that you will understand that this thing is actually coming from Nigeria and not from here in the UK. Meanwhile, if today is your very first time of stopping by my channel, be cool, enjoy, obey, subscribe to help your one net to be growing some more, some more, please. I really appreciate all your support, all your kind gestures. Support me here, please. So let's just open this so that you can understand me because it's good when you are talking, you are showing proof to ensure that yes, what you are talking is real. You are not faking or exaggerating. Oh my God, look at the one tearing this thing apart like a lion. Whew. Guys, what is falling out here is Oh, <laughs> I can even perceive it. This is so good. Yes, the, the way they package this so good, and only God. Mm. One open, man. This is original one. You see the size of this so good? The way it is now, it's 750. That's a pound. One British pound. 750. Some people exchange that 760. But you look at the quantity. Mm. I need to wipe my hand, please. So. I'm showing you exactly what I've got in this package that just arrived this afternoon. These things are not something you can get over here in Obodo, Yibo. This is Ogo. As it is now, it is two pounds. So let's say 750 times two. This is 1,500 Nigerian Naira. Ogo, pumpkin leaf. You see? And I got three. So 3,000. 4,500 and this is how much? 6,000 Nigerian Naira for this Ogo. I want to make vegetable soup and I want to use one for layer for, you know, what is the meaning of for layer for in English? <laughs> I want to wash one, squeeze it, squeeze out the water, drink it for my low iron, you know. So I'm going to be using this three for vegetable soup, 6,000 Naira Ogo, one five for one. <laughs> Let's understand what Lily Pope is talking about because all these things are coming from Nigeria. Nobody they cultivate to go for Obodo Ibo here. <laughs> and the next one I got here, Uzuza, Uzuza leaf, each of these, two pound. How much is two pound? Like I've just converted. So this is 1,500. This is another Uzuza, 1,500. You see the size? So the two like this is how much? 3,000 Nigerian Naira. <laughs> And this is Otazi. This one is a pound. A pound is 750. So this now is how much? 750 Nigerian Naira. It could be 760. But make I minus that 10 Naira on top. Do you have, I'm just doing it a flat rate of how much? Hey, <laughs> 750. And this is Oha. I want to also make Ora soup. That's why I bought the Ozoza. <laughs> ah, la basundareka. Let me show you the size. So I bought two Oha. I should have bought more. Oh, thank God it's still fresh. It arrived in peace. You see this quantity is also two pound. Two, two, two pounds. So this Ohana is three. No, it's 1,500 Nigerian Naira. I don't know the drop. You are important. Any pound that drop, I'll pick it up. Nothing is going to miss out of this apart from the bad ones. So I got two. This is one of the Oha. 
30,000 Nigerian naira because I want to chop Nigerian food and they came from Nigeria directly, straight. And I, in fact, they got delivered and I received them in good faith. So, what exactly is Lily yelling about? Hey, children, don't go small mad. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Guys, this is not really funny. Let's be serious here. Back to business. You see, what people are passing through. How can a friend, you know, who prepared or who, how can a friend who willingly wanted to like um, make her friend over there in the States have a test of what she was having? The Abaro me or Abaro what, please? Is it Abaro me or the Abaro what? I don't know. Odara, you know, what's the English name again? I beg. So you wanted your friend to have a test of this and she put all these things together, packaged them, spent money for the freezing. Is it freezing or frozen? She paid money to freeze it for two days. She bought a cooler. Oh my goodness. I can imagine the stress. I can imagine the stress Lily went through in order to put all these things together. Not even about the money. Do you know how much one nu, the Udara, the cherry that is called one nu, is the most expensive Udara in Nigeria, especially in the eastern part of Nigeria. If you know one nu, other Udaras might be like five for 200 or five for 500, but that one nu could be like five for a thousand or a thousand plus. And she put all these things together with the hope of the friend receiving it. And all these people called the cargo people. What's their name again? Hmm. They say they are called Surely Food Export. Guys, do you know what? I don't trust all these people either. When I was watching Lily Pop's video yesterday, I was boiling in anger. In fact, I watched from A to Z, but I couldn't even comment about other things that happened because it was a collection of vlogs, you know. Her makeup and the travel, her breakfast, you know, was it the smoothie that she made? I thought I, I forgot about that. And I sent out my comments on the pain of the treatment she got from this cargo company, the Shirley Food Export, or what, what, what was their name? You know, it's really sad. It's really sad to me. And I've already requested for this. Yes, I've already ordered for this. Because I plan to make soup. Usually I make soup once in a month. I make two, three soups once in a month. I still have a bottle. So I'm going to be making these two varieties. So I was thinking, is mine going to arrive? You know. But what I want to say in this video is this. Lily, I really felt your pain. And I'm really sorry you experienced such from this export company. And I want to advise anybody. No one paid me to do this. This is not a sponsored post. Uche Mwezi is a Nigerian YouTuber. You all know her. And she's also a friend to Lily. You know, all of us know that. If you want to export something to Obodo, especially fish, crayfish, stockfish, periwinkle, all them seafood, the Megusi, Osea, and Australia. Uche, oh my God, she's an elegant lady. You know, beauty with brains. She dresses fine, but when she's in the market, she's serious. You know, those business, well, now we be fanciful ladies. Most Nigerian fanciful ladies don't like to do such businesses. But Uche is a working class lady and she, she also, she's also into this export business. Not that she's exporting clothes and hair, everybody is doing. She chose to do it the other way. You know what our parents, our mothers did in the past? She goes to the market, she buys all these things. Do you want fish? Dried fish you can order from her. I've seen somebody she delivered to here in the UK through DHL, you know. She delivered and the person received her package. So if you want to order anything from outside of the country, here you are in diaspora, uh, contact Uchemwezi. Yes, contact her. Her link will also be in my description and that of Lily Pope too. So reach out to them, especially Uche. Uche will do it for you in a good faith. Just that Uche might probably be a third party and Lily Po being the friend might have thought that anyway, I'm in Oka, she is in Portacos and I've seen a bar with me that I want to buy. My friend really needs this urgently. And she spent her money to fly these things to Lagos. Hey! She ne konyo biocha. Sent to Lagos, from Lagos to the Obodoi. But if I thought these people actually, you know, move these things from Lagos to Alabeke. Because I'm not sure. So it was really pathetic listening to that. It was it was really annoying to be frank. 
I don't know how people think. So beware of all these uh, cargo companies if you're sending something. Hey, hey, so what exactly am I ranting about? Let me confess. You see this Ogo, Doha and everything. Come on, I don't know anybody from Nigeria. Oh, oh I can talk through. Oh. <laughs> he was my friend in Liverpool. Because the African shop they have here, they don't usually bring this. There's even a Nigerian African shop. Bobby is an Igbo guy, but he doesn't bring fresh vegetables. You know, he has Ogo, but the frozen one. So this is my friend that lives in Liverpool. Liverpool is about four hours away from us. You know, they usually bring these fresh vegetables in the African shops there from Nigeria. And you have to place an order if you want. So she told me that normally they bring it on Wednesdays. I said, okay, I would want this one. So I ordered for them through her. She bought all of them and then she sent first class. Yes, that's what she used. And they charge us six pounds something from sending. That's why we, you know, we, when you calculate the price of everything, it's around 23,000. Just this vegetable put together, you know, and the money they use to post it. So basically, sometimes I prefer to buy a lot of things here, especially our African stuff. Once in a while, if I want to eat these vegetables, it's better I buy them from here than asking somebody to send from Nigeria. Though meanwhile, <laughs> it might not even arrive the same day, so it might spoil. Yes, I think this is the case of uh, Lily Pope also trying to send this thing swiftly to Oma Bella. But the reverse become the case. I don't know. It's just sheer wickedness. Because I learned that these people sometimes when these things arrive to Obodo Ibo, they don't really send them to the right people or they sell them off. Because if you go in the comment section of that video uploaded by Lily Pope, I will leave the link in my description. You would see a lot of people you know, sharing their experiences, wow. their negative encounters with all these cargo companies, all these agents. It's really pathetic, you know. So, if you don't want to encounter any of these things, reach out to Uche, especially when you are, when you want something like fish for fish. Reach out to her. She will do justice to that. And make sure that your stuff gets to you. After, after you spend the money, but you get your stuff. You see how much I spend getting just vegetables for my two pots of soup. Not even the meat and the other fish. Remember? But those vegetables, 20 something thousand. But the most important thing is that I'm able to get it, even though I bought it already when it has landed here in the UK. But it's worth it. Then sending this money back home and the thing will end up not getting to you. It will be heartbreaking. Ensure that you trust the companies you are sending something through, you know. But for this company, they don't enter one chance because the people they did this were you. Wrong hands. Oh my Bella, a popular person. Lily Pope, you see her subscribers. So everybody have known these people. Try to avoid them. Me too. <laughs> I want to send hair for, for is it hair? I want to order hair from Nigeria, different hairs. You know, make us follow that they shine now like big girl. <laughs> but I'm still concerned about how am I going to send it? Which agency or which company am I going to send it that they won't get into this place and sell it? Meanwhile, thanks for your time. And thank you for stopping to watch. Be cool, subscribe to my channel. Check out my other videos. You might find one or two interesting and relaxed to watch. Thank you. Bye for now. See you again. <laughs>